really determined chick. <laughs> this girl knows Excuse her mind, me? all right. I'm no looking point in for trying the grave to reason of with a her. young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Hey, Lauren! I found it! Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Yeah, go for nothing, hoodlums! Get the hell out of here! <laughs> God, beat it, you lousy no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. going too fast. He never waits for me. through this big pipe, if he can make it. Come on! Jeez, you're in nothing. Bet you can't do that. Construction site is empty. Nothing but Makes a for a great playground. <laughs> Come on, loser. What you doing? You're coming or not?
I think you went down here. Yeah, because yeah. You don't need to do this if it's too hard for you. No chance, I can do it all right. Just you watch. Play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. kid never did find any help, and his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home.
Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepherd drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. <laughs> there she goes again, surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. rented the doc's apartment on Marble Street. You better be careful. He might be the killer. Paco Mendez, the guy the doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death, I better watch my step. Still haven't gotten over my encounter with Dr. Death. I have nothing against techno trance whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. Everything's gonna be all right. I find the guy, I ask a few questions, and then I get the hell out. Bartender. I don't know where I can find Paco. Play school for the jet set. Not really. at his table over there. Does he know you? Not yet, but I have to talk to him. That's not possible. Mr. Mendez is asked not to be disturbed. Sexy. Sexy in a kind of dumb way. Maybe I could catch his attention by strutting my stuff nearby. Flunk flirt class. He hasn't even looked my way. Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I gotta find someplace to change. Well, Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. I'm gonna have to think of something else. Guess it's time to sexy up my performance. All I need is a good place to change. Time to play the sexy girl. I say if you got it, flaunt it. Time to swing my hips and get a little rise out of Paco. Actually, I might do anything for a little bit of information. Pretty scary when you think about it. It'll never work. Paco will never fall for it. Mind you, a guy who wears a jacket like that is capable of anything. Feels like the whole place is watching me. I suppose I'm not exactly keeping a low profile. Okay, it's showtime for scumbag Paco. He's definitely gonna notice me this time. No, lover boy. Let's see if you can resist this. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Paco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh, I like the way you move, Madison. You're making me all hot under the collar. <laughs> well, maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, sure, baby. Yeah, come with me. <laughs> I'll just follow him to his office. 
This is no time to get squeamish. Even if my legs do feel like they're about to give way. Everything is gonna be alright. I have a plan, I know exactly what I'm doing. This guy is truly revolting. Ugh! Just follow him to his office. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. Shit. You're making the biggest mistake of your life, Madison. I'm not getting a good feeling about this. No one knows I'm here. I'll be all alone if things get out of hand. I go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> I'll take that. Just get in the way of the good thing, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Um, could, could we just talk first? No, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. Uh, uh could, could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice? Oh, we already broke the ice, Mama. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look. Uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. I never take never for an answer. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know! Got it going, huh? That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh! You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know, boss, when I gush up with you. Boss? 
Is everything all right? If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never set foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear! Oh, ah! Ah! Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciate this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Well, that was a pretty good way of getting a guy to spill his guts. <laughs> Time to get out of here. We've got next time he'll think twice before he takes a cute chick up to his office. How about that? You didn't do too badly now, did you, girl? The name he gave me. John Shepard. Could that be the name of the killer? Guess I'll soon find out. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Oh, it's you. It's garbage. I don't hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you get me out of prison, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paid. Wait, what you do? Don't fuck around, man. No, 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 wait. I, I can still help you out. No, no, don't kill me. No time to wait. Gotta find Paco. <laughs>